Welcome to Mock Rockets. Legos rock. And so do rockets. This is the capsule that came with the Saturn V kit from LEGO, and it has a beautiful printed piece on the front showing the door, and it came with this nice ring to indicate splashdown, and the nice like airbags on top to keep the, the capsule stable once it landed. However, if we sort of get rid of these extra features, what we see is that the capsule itself uh, is actually not so ideal. In contrast to the curvy bottom representing the heat shield and the curvy top of many space capsules as well as the docking adapters on top, this particular piece, just this standard 4x4 cone, leaves a lot to be desired. I've been working on a design for a while which, although it's only five pieces, I think better captures a lot of the properties that many of these space capsules have. So here it is right here. What we see on the bottom is a 4x4 dish piece. Uh, it does have a single stud on the bottom and we're going to like that. Um, and the really great thing about this is that the dish can be a different color. So for example here this is my attempt at a Starliner type capsule which has a gray heat shield at least on all of the photos we've seen and the body of the capsule itself is white. And on the top, rather than those four studs, there's a 2x2 two two round plate as well as a 2x2 two two dish piece on the top. Now right now I have a yellow, I believe, four, a 4L four bar that's yellow in color going through the center to hold all of these uh, four other parts together. However, white ones are sold, we just don't happen to own one and I didn't want to buy one just to make this video, so we're going to stick with yellow for now. So this top part here is quite nice because this could represent, for example, a docking adapter um, or the rounded part of the nose cone. And the the 2x2 two two plate that's sitting underneath here, underneath here uh, let me pull this off so you can have a good view of that, is not a standard plate. It's the type of plate which has a single stud uh, on the top. Let me pull this apart. Okay, here we go, I got it together. So this is the top 2x2 two two dish piece, and this is the 2x2 two two modified plate. It's almost like a jumper type plate. And so if we stick those together, that kind of creates the top, and you can see this is the top of the bar that goes through, and then we can stick it all together. And now it's seamless. Now we don't have those different studs uh, causing problems. And on the bottom, we can pull that off just for thoroughness. You can see how the bar sticks through and it clamps right into uh, the hole there for the stud. So, this is the design of the capsule. The question is how to make it attach to the rocket that you're working on. And there, there's a really good solution, and that's with one of these 2x2 two two tiles with a hole. This is a nice big hole um, that fits snugly for that stud. So. You can build different things around it. We actually used a 5x5 five five dish piece um, for the Starliner, our design for the Starliner capsule. Okay, so that's it. This is our design for a very nice uh, modification to uh, just a conventional 4x4 four four, uh, cone to represent a space capsule. And this would work on any number of different um, mock rocket designs. All right, have a great day.